How would I describe Dr. Watson? Obviously a brilliant man, uh, very high energy. Craig like, moves fast. To me that's very important, that your success in life comes from doing the obvious fast. Uh, we both have a tendency to say what we think. Uh, Jim's uh, statement was, well that explains it, uh, uh, you're a biochemist. Uh, it was only later that I learned that was one of his uh, famous insults that he uh, gave people by uh, calling them a biochemist uh, instead of a geneticist. Uh, we're both bald. <laughs> we both got very frustrated with each other, but uh, uh, I think in the long run we managed to develop a lot of respect for each other. We're the first two actors in this brave new world of, you know, knowing our personal genome and letting the rest of the world know it. The route to becoming a scientist is sort of an unusual one for most scientists. Uh, uh, I didn't like school early on and I did everything uh, I, I could to avoid it. I ended up in the Navy Medical Corps and uh, got exposed to medicine and it totally changed the direction of my life to uh, doing science and I never looked back. I moved to NIH uh, with my lab in 1984. When the first announcements of automated DNA sequencers came out, I arranged to have the first uh, machine uh, in my lab at NIH. When I was a graduate student, I learned that uh, the viruses I worked with contained DNA. And uh, it was the best guess that the DNA was probably carried the genetic information. So I just wanted to know what the structure of DNA was like. You know, my objective curiosity was DNA. How to sequence uh, DNA uh, was first announced in 1974. Uh, by 10 years after, it became possible to ask, could you work out the complete sequence of the human being? When we started the Human Genome Project, it wasn't really clear, you know, whether it was going to be done by uh, human beings or machines. The first person who really had faith in the machine was Craig Venter. Jim Watson was the head of the genome program. He was, uh, uh, he was my major champion uh, for going forward to, to try uh, genome sequencing. And we actually tried the first test sequencing in my lab at NIH of sequencing human chromosomes. Uh, and trying to interpret that data. One reason I wanted my sequence done, because I was curious whether I carried one bad one so that I could warn my sons. My own case, it became part of trying to set an example of saying, uh, I understand the risk probably as well as anybody can at this stage. I'm not opposed to having my information publicly disclosed and on the internet. It went down that road of, uh, uh, to quite a bit of attack early on of uh, having my genome done as an example. And so I really applaud uh, uh, Jim Watson for doing the same thing. Any two human beings differ more than we expected. That is, there's more variability. Uh, the way we look at cancer now is just totally different now that we have the Human Genome Project. It tells us literally millions of things. Uh, it tells us our ancestry helps define human evolutionary history. Uh, if you know what's coming, you can try and uh, <clears throat> take major steps to maybe change some of those outcomes. It's just so obvious to me that we're going to be healthier 50 years from now.